the, the United Nations uh, AI for Good Global Summit is really, uh, from my point of view, one of the most critical and smart events I've, I've seen in a long time put together. It's uh, when, when something new comes along that has the kind of potential for amazing good and evil, as we've, all, you know, as we've been hearing over the last couple of days, as artificial intelligence does, there's an opportunity that often gets missed in that those people who are keen on developing that particular instance like AI, they just start developing it. And then nobody gets together and talks about the problems that might occur until after the fact. And we've seen that in other technologies. That it's, uh, I won't go into them because we could be here for a while, much longer than we have today. By bringing together you know, people from civil society, people from technology, people from academia, p experts, global experts, the top minds in all the world from all these areas, governments, from education, from if the fields of social sciences, from creative, from, from science. The opportunity to, and you mentioned that, that really thing, to have that dialogue, it gives us the opportunity this time to maybe get it right before we get too far down the road. And really, the, the, you know, the, the United Nations Global Summit and, and on AI for Good will, I believe, be seen in history as one of the most important aspects of getting it right for artificial intelligence. Wikiomni and, and Word for App are focused on creating the largest and most complete knowledge repository in the world that will be ac that's accessible to any individual regardless of their language or literacy level. And if you've listened to our founder, uh, John Chen, talk any time recently, you've heard him come up with the, his statement, knowledge is power. So if you look, we've been guided by the United Nations uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goals since day one. And we believe that in their, in their solution lives, you know, be, it lies the opportunity for the kind of world that we all want to live in. So how, do we can, how can Wiki Omni Word for App contribute to that? When you look at all 17 development, sustainable development goals, I'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find any one of them that isn't at some point grounded in knowledge. Unfortunately, in our current world, knowledge is not equitably shared and it is often in an, in an unbalance. If through WikiOmni and Word for App, we can redress that balance and make the same knowledge that someone who's privileged enough to go to Stanford make that same knowledge available to someone who's you know, living in a village in a, in a, in a in developing country, then we, we believe that it can make that knowledge-based contribution, uh, contribute to understanding, and hopefully uh, accelerate the, uh, the resolution of the Sustainable Development Goals. Isn't it interesting, as uh, all through the, the, the summit so far, and I think everywhere you look, we're talking about this exponential growth of data data that's coming and you know and personal data is a big chunk of that and the part that you know we're, we're really concerned about so you know in an ideal world we we have to protect the individual's data right I mean that's just a given however for artificial intel artificial intelligence to actually maximize its impact the learner the learners have to be able to access the data that it needs to learn so it's it's uh, the classic catch-22 it's been a topic that's been discussed you know, during, this, during this summit and, and continues to be discussed. How do we do that? And you, you know, really, at, number one, we have to protect people's data. What, what does that entail? Well, first of all, we could do something like security by design. But that would be great for maybe systems that are coming, but there's a lot of systems already existing, and that horse is already out of the barn. There's no sense closing the door. So whatever systems are out there, they're going to have to exist. So the only way to do that is by putting the proper social government policy and legislation in place so that that can be handled. There are uh, now these movements like d uh, privacy by design, security by design that we can follow, and that's helpful. But at some point, the data is just going to go continue exponentially. It's just going to happen, right? That this is, it's, we're seeing it right now. In my ideal world, I would see a world where the identifying component of an individual's data is separated from whatever the actual data content is. And the access to that data and the use of that data could only be granted, and we can, I guess we'd use an encryption model or something, but by this individual giving some kind of permission to, for that join to take place. So that even if somebody hacked into the data, they could have all this they want. They could even have some of this but they never know that these two go together. And you look at something like areas like medical research, that would be, I think, a, a critical 
way of go f going forward. Is that the solution? I don't know if that's the final solution, but I think we have to find some creative way to protect the individual, but to enable artificial intelligence to provide the, the incredible benefit it can, and which it can only do through access to a huge amount of data.